And welcome back. Well, the kids are back in school and the busy fall season is now upon us. So to me, the idea of creating two meals from one basic recipe sounds pretty darn good. Yeah. She, Chef Kate Luloff is back from Jones Dairy Farm to demonstrate this sweet, savory, and slightly spicy version of a classic Chinese fried rice. Then she's going to show you how to transform that into a delicious frittata. I Two love that. And one. I love it. One going into the next makes it simple, and um, yeah. we all love simple, easy cooking. Great to see you. Nice yeah, to see good you to too. see you, Kate. Nice see so you. which one did you want to start with then? I'm going to quick show you how to make the Chinese, the fried rice. Okay. Yum. And then after that, then I already have some fried rice in here that would be your leftover. Okay. Just for sake of time. Yeah. Um, so that's just that. a little mushrooms and onions, dump in your fried rice, and then we're going to put the eggs on top. Is it Great. true with fried rice that the, the key is a really hot pan? Because I see that's like really steaming up. For sure. Yep. Okay. So Smoking. Oh, Smoking hot. Any kind of stir fry or fried rice or anything like that is always super high heat, and it's usually real quick cooking. Okay. okay. So. Put cashews in? Yes. Well, the first thing you do, and I had to do this ahead of time just again for time's sake. Um, there's a little bit of scrambled egg, your Yum. typical, you know, fried rice, a little bit of scrambled egg. And then we are doing um, uh, Canadian bacon fried rice with pineapple. So I've got some pineapple and red pepper. Yum. Okay. That takes about six minutes for the uh, pineapple to start caramelizing. So that we gotcha. had to do ahead of time. Did you do that on its own or did you do that with the eggs? I did. So you, you do, you cook the eggs really quick, like yep. 30 seconds, dump them in a bowl or, and, you know, I have them here uh, obviously in the fry pan, um, dump them in a bowl. And then, excuse me, and yep. then uh, then you're going to put in your pineapple and, and red pepper. Okay. And you're going to cook that. Once that's almost done, you throw in a little um, green onion, a little garlic. Okay. We'll okay. have this whole recipe. Yeah, we're yep. going to have the recipe, so don't, yes. don't stress out there. No, no it's like, just, wait, I'm not following. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's, it's easy. It's just all in steps. You just cook one thing at a time and then dump it in the pan. You're going to combine everything back together okay. at the end. So. Okay, right. so what do you have in that hot uh, uh, stir fry pan? So a little bit of coconut oil and then some cashews. I toasted those for about 30 seconds. Dump in the rice. We're going to heat the rice through. Okay. Got nut allergies. Obviously, skip the cashews. Correct. And okay. then uh, after that, we're going to dump in our Canadian bacon strips, which yeah. I also had done in here and then put in a, in a pan, but I wanted to leave them separate so you could see it. And those are super easy. We're showing it right there. You've got mm -hmm. the um, no antibiotics ever. Correct. And then you've got your Canadian bacon mm -hmm. um, that you just cut, you know, take it out of the package and cut into strips. Correct. This people are going to find in the refrigerator mm -hmm. section right. of their grocery store. Right. And this is great. It's fully cooked. You can eat it right out of the package. Which okay. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Or you can heat. You know, yeah. I have it in the fridge at all times. Yeah. Or you can have um, heat it obviously and, and eat it hot as well. I'd also like okay. you know my cat also likes <laughs> quite a bit. Good, for awesome real. protein like, for the cat. He does. He's just, like, ooh, he smells it when I open it. Okay. So that, um, if you take a look at this and you take a look at a couple other Canadian bacon packages that are at the store, you'll see the difference just okay. in the way it looks. But then also once you taste it, we oh, have the yeah. natural, um, no liquid smoke ever, only a natural smoke on oh, it. So liquid it's smoke. hickory. Hickory smoked. Um, we use only center cut loins, so yeah. it's very, very lean. It's a great quality cut of meat. Um, so yeah, and it's it's just it's very clean. Um, only 60 yeah, it's calories only like for one gram of fat, or yep. one and a half grams of fat. Yep, yep. and 60 calories for three slices, which and that's is a in serving. Three slices, which mm -hmm. is fantastic. So mm -hmm. yeah, so this is a great product. You, um, obviously, you could use you know any of our. You could use sausage or ham or whatever you wanted in here, but we're using the Canadian bacon. So okay, I want to make sure that with the pineapple so well. Okay. Yeah. Yum. Yes, you that it does. Get to the two in one part. Yep. Yeah, it's a great thing for pizzas. Yes. If you want to mix up your pizza toppings? You could do the Canadian bacon and pineapple. Mm -hmm. You could even just buy a store bought mm -hmm. cheese pizza and add those yummy toppings. That's what I do. Dairy farm. Absolutely, and always certified gluten free too, so you don't ever have to check the label. Everything that we make is certified gluten free. That's great. Everything. So wow. we're dumping everything back in here. Right. We got our Canadian bacon. Yeah. We're gonna put in. Okay. So you're gonna toss this all together. It so good in She's here. Working fast today. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. It's getting a workout. Double time. Mm. Chef workout. And then mm -hmm. to finish it off, we're gonna okay. do a little bit of uh, tamari. If you don't have tamari, soy sauce is fine, but tamari is gluten free. Oh. So if you're keeping the recipe gluten free, that. then use Look tamari. You, what you know. This, <laughs> This is a little bit of uh, professional chef. <laughs> this is a little bit of chili paste, garlic Not chili just paste. On TV people, it's real. <laughs> she does this in real life. <laughs> so it's believable then. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Did you put 
sriracha oh. in there? You can use Yum. sriracha. This is garlic chili paste that you find oh. in the Asian foods aisle. Okay. okay. So it gives it just a little bit of kick. If you like it a little spicier, throw a little more in. Ooh, and yeah. then we're going to mellow it out just a little with this uh, squeeze of lime. For Molly. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> I need it mellow. <laughs> um, so what, what you have plated up here, I mm -hmm. love the way you've done this with the, the chopsticks mm -hmm. and the full platter. So you've got the, the fried rice. So it's got Yum. the delicious high protein Canadian bacon in it. Mm -hmm. Eggs, the pineapple, the red pepper. Yep. Um, the great rice and cashews. Serve mm -hmm. it up with some fruit. Yep. Now that is going to be on our website. You can find out more as well as the JonesDairyFarm.com. You. you can find grocery stores next to you that have this wonderful Canadian bacon. There's mm. also a wonderful website where you can do Thanks. the product mm. locator. You put in your zip code and then you hit it. Find out what's near you. And you can find out which products you can find closest to you, whether it's the Canadian bacon or their great sausage patties oh or my their gosh. sausage links. And you know, the cool thing about so this, good, it's, thank you. It's our Canadian bacon is the number one selling Canadian bacon across the United States. So pretty oh, much. you've been on the morning blunt. So <laughs> what's that? Since yeah. I've been on the morning blunt, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> well, I would like to think that it amped up right. sales, of we course, have like but yes. You gotta do okay. how do you make the the So you have leftovers, you're gonna dump them in a pan with a little bit of mushroom and onion, and then I have six eggs. You're gonna take those and just pour it over the top. Mm -hmm. Throw it in the oven and bake it for about 15 minutes. Take it out, top it with a little oh, feta no. and a little cilantro, and we're good. Oh my go. God. There's also, a second part of that, two in one. Easy breakfast or brunch. Make sure we get a shot of this. Yeah, so right here. See the finished two in one. There, that's a great picture. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what so she delicious. did is just take those ingredients, add mushroom and onion, mm -hmm. pour the eggs over it. Then when mm. you serve it up, put a little more Canadian bacon and some feta. That's delicious. Yeah. Okay. This is so good. Yeah. I'm not going to tell my mom, but it's better than hers. <laughs> <laughs> good thing she doesn't live here, Kate. <laughs> okay, we say something gutsy on TV. We won't tell her. Uh, we won't so tell her. Canadian bacon fried rice with pineapple recipe, as well as the fried rice frittata. Mm. Both recipes, two in one. Jones Dairy Farm. Dot com. We're giving you true value today. Two recipes in one. Mm. What? Mm. There you go. Great to see you. Um, Kate, thank you so much. Thank so you very good. much. Really good. Thanks.